The Speed Sentry from All Traffic Solutions is a great unit for traffic calming in neighborhoods. The first step in mounting the Speed Sentry is to mount the mounting bracket to the pole where you want to utilize the Speed Sentry. Using the included hardware, mount the bracket to the pole. Once you have the bracket attached to the pole, you set the speed sentry onto the bolts of the bracket. Holding the door, you open the unit and you put the hardware onto the bolt to attach the speed sentry to the bracket. Now that I have the unit mounted, my next step is to set the battery on the battery shelf and put the strap on with the hardware to the pins. I can use a 50 amp hour battery as I am in this case or I can use a 26 amp hour battery. Once I have the battery in position I connect the power to the speed sentry in the power receptacle. At this point the speed sentry will come on. Let me show you how to set up your speed sentry using the onboard controls. When you look in your speed sentry, you have a home screen that gives you a bit of information. It tells you what mode the radar is in, it tells you how full your data is, it tells you the battery level, it tells you the average speed since the last time you've powered on your speed sentry, and it tells you the time of day. If I hit the setting button, it tells me which mode it's in, and I can set demo mode, speed limit sign, radar on always, or radar on timer. So I'm going to set the unit for radar on always. Next I set my speed limit and I can go up and down with the setting buttons to set the speed limit. Now that I've set my speed limit, my next setting is the maximum speed displayed. This setting keeps people from racing the sign to see how high a reading they can show. I set my display trigger for a speed alert system typically to none because I'm displaying the speed on the inst alert. I can also set it to the speed limit, a certain trigger speed, or all vehicles. I can set my strobe to the same general settings. I can set it to no vehicles. I can set it at the speed limit. I can set it at a specific trigger speed, or I can set it to all vehicles. Since this is a speed alert system, I'm going to set it to none. My output display could be set to constant or blinking. I can set my time. I can enable my data logging and clear my data memory. For a speed alert system, the speed sentry has a setting to output the speed to the inst alert or none. If I set it to none, the inst alert will operate as a normal message board. If I set the setting to inst alert, the speed sentry will begin communicating with the inst alert again. Now that I have the unit mounted, the battery installed, and the power on, I close the unit and shut and lock the door. And finally, I rotate the year speed sign into position. Speed Sentry is now traffic calming in this neighborhood.